Hey, what's up, social media family? Hope everybody is having an amazing day. Just want to share something. I was in a prayer meeting recently, and just the Spirit of the Lord was just flowing. And I just, sometimes I just get overwhelmed by the goodness of God. When you cultivate a place for the Lord to show up, He can't resist. He will find you in that place irresistible. The presence of the Lord was just flowing in in this prayer meeting that we had. It was a corporate gathering. And it's just like I was praying and reading, praying and reading, and this one thought just kept coming to my spirit. You must think the way that I think. And I just kind of, that, that, that was just stuck in me. You must think the way that I think. So I kept praying. And what just kept rolling around in my mind was a kingdom mindset. And of course, the scripture, Proverbs 23 and 7, as a man thinketh, so is he. Some other translations say it like, as a person thinks about himself, he will react in that way or he will be that way. And so you got to understand, to do, I'm going to break it down real simple and plain, to do what God has called you to do. To be the person that God has called you to be. I mean, to the fullest form, to the fullest degree, the highest dimension of what God has called you to do, what God has called you to be, you must think the way that he thinks. Okay? You have got to become hard-headed. Kingdom, hard-headed. You are who God says you are. And you're going to do what God says you're going to do. When people prophesy prophetic words over your life, over your ministry, over your business, over your marriage, that's how things are going to end up if they're words from the Lord, okay? Even when you're raised in a good home by, by good parents, you got good aunts and uncles, you, you had good mentors, teachers, coaches, Sunday school teachers, but a lot of times good people, and I do this too, you do this too, we give some really good advice to people that may not be according to the perfect will and plan of God over somebody's life, but because you respect people or you give words to people that respect you, they will hang on to those words that actually sometimes will not lead people forward. You must think the way that I think. And when I really adapted to and adopted the kingdom mindset, the Lord started breaking off a lot of really good teachings I learned in the church over the past 25 years. Good teachings that will lead you to a good life. But you'll still just have a little bit of emptiness inside of you because you're not reaching your full godly kingdom potential. I got... So many people that I just love so much, and, and they come to me and say, man, Jojo, man, man, God's good. I got a great marriage. I got great kids. I got a great business, or I got a great ministry. But man, I, I'm just, there's a little emptiness in me. What is it? I said, there's still kingdom agenda in you. I can't tell you how many people I talk to that I may know from my past or you know, somebody like on like a, a YouTube person that, that messaged me and they'll be like, man, I, I live a good, I may have millionaires because, man, I, I'm a millionaire and I have a great marriage, great family, great business, but there's something in me. And I usually go back to like, hey, where's a prophetic word that wasn't fulfilled? I had this w one young man came to me and uh, I mean, just really have a heart for this young man and, and his family and He's just like, Joe, man, I'm, I'm living the American dream. He said, beautiful house, beautiful wife, great kids. Just things are great. But there, there's something. He goes to a, a church full of good people. Boy, I put that very well, didn't I? He goes to a church full of really good people. Now, they're not going to move in the kingdom. They're not going to move in the prophetic or the apostolic. They're not going to move in the supernatural, and they're not going to flow with the Spirit. But what they do do well is groups 
and fellowship and community. And that is so important. That is very important. But the few places that they're missing, now we all miss. Roar Church, Texarkana, we're missing some areas. We're missing some areas in a big way. And I'm praying to fill those gaps with the right people. It just hasn't happened yet. And so there's no perfect church. And I'll admit ours isn't perfect, okay? Now, we're going to flow in the apostolic, prophetic, and the supernatural. We, we're we going to roll with that. But when, when people aren't aligned with the kingdom, I don't care how much money you got. Somebody came... Uh, they were talking to somebody in our church recently, and they were just like, you know, our family makes millions of dollars a year and are frustrated. We know there's more. Some of you have to go back and get old prophetic words, start moving in them. And a lot of you are just kind of in complacent land in the world of comfort zones. Don't die in that comfort zone. Nothing grows in comfort zones. Okay? Nothing grows. Things die. Complacency is birthed in comfort zones. To do what God has called you to do, you got to step into the kingdom realm. You know, in, in my, my younger life, I accomplished a lot of things I wanted to accomplish. I was a rodeo guy. I wanted to make the Texas Pro Rodeo Finals in team roping. Um, when I was young, as a teenager, I made the Texas Pro Finals. I wanted to win Team Roping Texas Rookie of the Year Healer. I did. There was something I wanted to accomplish in in softball. You know, man, I love playing softball back in the day. I did it. When I was a, a gym rat, still go to the gym, but have a different mindset. I wanted to bench press a certain amount. I got it. It all left me empty. Just empty. Man, when I start flowing with the kingdom, I'm full. And when you're full, you overflow. When you're full, you overflow. You got to get to that place. When you think kingdom, you will overflow with revelation, knowledge. You will flow with impartations to other people. The joy, just the peace that surrounds you, you, you just, you'll overflow to other people. And that's what is that. Your overflow. What is overflow? It's usually like water. Overflow will water other people's gardens. Woo, son. Come on now. Your overflow will water other people's dreams when you think kingdom. The word I'm giving you today, my friends, is you must think like the master. You must think like the Lord in this new season. We're in a new era. Things are moving in a different direction, and they're moving fast. And you're going to see in this new era and this new season especially rolling into 2022, 2023, 2024. If you try to stay with the old mindset, hey, the, the world has never moved as fast as it's moving right now. Things are moving. You, you got to flow with the prophetic. You have to know what heaven is saying. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Passion Translation says, manifest your kingdom realm. Oh, Lord, we're listening. Give us your word, oh Lord. We're listening. This is a day and a time and a season, folks. We got to move forward with the Lord. All right, I hope this helped you. I hope this blessed you today. And you got to think like the Lord thinks moving forward. And one of the hardest things is you've got to break old words that people have spoken over your life. You got to break old mindsets and you have to adapt to the kingdom way of thinking and adopt it fully 100% percent go all in on the things of the Lord. And when you do this, oh, you're about to see some things shift. You're going to see some things change, but you got to get out of your comfort zone and complacency. You need to get with the Lord. You may need to listen to some different voices. You may need to, to, to read some different type of books. Come on now. Things are shifting. Love you guys. And hey, if you want prayer, Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact connect button, hit it. I want to pray for you. I want to help you break this mindset. So in the comments, just write the word um, mindset. If you, I don't know where you're watching this, Facebook, YouTube. I don't know where you're watching, but just write mindset. And I want to pray for you that your mindset will start to shift 
according to the kingdom of God. Because this is a day and a time and a season that God needs his people, all hands on deck moving forward. Love you guys. Have a super blessed day.